Hi again, this is my 2025 um, paper two A-level chemistry for OCRA, just some predictions. And remember, they are just predictions and suggestions for revision. So we're going to have a look at what we can expect for paper two for A-level chemistry. So things that we should be always revising well, things that come up year after year things that are worth the most marks, and then maybe some suggestions based on things that have been maybe missing from previous papers that we think might be due to come into this year. As always, please make sure your revision is as thorough as it can be, and at the end, I will give you some little tips for extra revision resources, some of them free, some of them a few pounds, just to really get you prepared for your A-levels. So, Things that you should always revise well. Paper two is obviously, it's organic, right? Um, but there's a lot of organic chemistry in any A level and OCI is no exception. So are there particular areas that we should definitely make sure we cover? Well, carboxylic acids and esters comes up every single year. So make sure that you know how to make esters, that you know about hydrolysis of esters under different conditions, acid and alkaline. Make sure you know about carboxylic acid derivatives, acyl chlorides, and sometimes acid anhydrides. Um, make sure that you know your alkanes, alkenes, and isomerism. So reactions, alkanes don't have a lot of reaction, um, but alkenes do, and they're often involved in synthesis. And alkenes are great for questions because they can also involve lots of mechanisms, Markovnikov's rules of electrophilic addition, and stereoisomerism, EZ isomers as well. So don't uh, discount the alkenes and think, oh yeah, you know, that was right at the back at the beginning of AS level. Um, spectroscopy in particular, of course, NMR. Uh, it could be usually more marks available for hydrogen NMR, but carbon-13 comes up regularly too. And spectroscopy is of course gonna include your infrared and things like chromatography. Um, and alongside that, you're testing for functional groups. So really don't underestimate how important it is to know these tests because you could revise your NMR all you like, but if you're given some clue in a question and you don't know what that colour change means in terms of functional groups, it's really going to set you back. Also, don't neglect your calculations. So just because it's an organic paper doesn't mean there won't be calculations. The most likely types would be your empirical formula and percentage yield calculations. They are often done in the context of organic chemistry. So anything else that you think specifically for this year, 2025, uh, in section B, of course, section A, multiple choice can cover anything. Um, I think reactions of alcohols is, is usually comes up anyway but in particular relation to the oxidation, the formation of aldehydes um, and carboxylic acids, and then going from that into an ester from an alcohol and the elimination of alcohols to form alkenes. I think preparation of amines. Um, so preparation of amines is a good topic because it brings in lots of different organic chemistry because your aliphatic amines you can make with cyanide and cyanide can be added to aldehydes and ketones, or it can be a substitution reaction with a haloalkane. So that gives you lots of different um, methods to making the same amine. You've got reduction from CN to NH2 group. And then also within that, you've got your um, aromatic amines. So your nitration of benzene and reduction to um, phenylamine is super common as well. Um, and then stereoisomerism, I think there's very good scope for um, questions about stereoisomers. Make sure that you realise that stereoisomers can be EZ and optical and that they can come in the same molecule and they can definitely come up in the same question. Um, so the optical isomerism, um, I think, is due to be asked. Last year, I was correct about the preparation of the organic liquid, so I feel like we're going to shuttle back to recrystallization. So that's your aspirin prep, minimum hot solvent, 
removing different impurities, etc. I've got another YouTube video on that, which talks you through recrystallization. Uh, I also think distillation is a likely with a link to reactions of alcohols and preparation of aldehydes. Comparison of polymers, what I mean by that is comparison of addition versus condensation polymers, uh, making sure that you know a little bit um, about how each one forms and can identify the repeat unit, uh, can identify the monomer from a section of polymer chain and link to comparing those polymers. I think some green chemistry questions are due. Uh, green chemistry questions can be related to ozone layer and CFCs um, and sort of radical reactions. They can be linked to combustion, greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide, which is also linked to infrared because absorption of infrared is what greenhouse gases do. Uh, it can be about other combustion pollutants, nitrous oxides, carbon monoxide. And green chemistry could be about sustainability of a reaction, atom economy, uh, so how much you waste in a chemical reaction. And it can be about something as simple as like whether or not a polymer breaks down. OK, so addition polymers not breaking down because they're chemically inert. So green chemistry covers a lot of things. Uh, don't neglect it. It can appear in a lot of those suggest questions. OK, so if you're looking for some revision resources um, on my website, www.ckchemistry.co.uk, you'll find loads of free retrieval practice quizzes. So if you're just stuck in a bit of a rut and you just want to do some practice chemistry and you don't know where to start, they're a great place to tell you what you need to still revise. OK, so there are 10 questions each and whatever you can't they come with the answers, whatever you can't do, that's the topic that you need to focus on. Um, practice questions and walkthroughs. So there are some in my A level chemistry resources. There are like there's a whole organic section. Um, there are some practice questions. There are some videos and there are also some things like mind maps of the different types of organic reaction. Uh, I've got a whole load of multiple choice questions with video walkthroughs. So that's very helpful for revising either paper one or paper two. Um, and then predicted papers. So I make predicted papers and I've got some for 2025. If you're not sure about predicted papers, you know, like some people saying they're great. Some people saying they are just a money grabbing scheme, you know, because look at me, I am rich. Uh, <laughs> No. Um, then I've got another video actually I'm going to talk about predicted papers because it has become very very popular and I just want to talk about some myths and how to use them and how not to use them so they're available 2025, 2024 and 2023 um, so you can use last year's and the year before as practice as well so you're going to have a whole bundle and you can in fact get a whole bundle that includes nine predicted papers, so three from each of those three years, with all the mark schemes, plus video walkthroughs, so talking you through the mark scheme in more detail, plus an extended response booklet, so that's another like 22 questions, I think, which are six to eight mark practice, longer written questions with model answers, plus a calculations booklet, so loads of practice of all the different types. You're everything we just mentioned, atom economy, percentage yield, uh, empirical formula, analysis questions, titration questions, etc. KC, KP, energetics, born harbor cycles, a lot. Um, so all of that can be purchased in one go. Um, and really, really cheap, if you want more help tutorial wise, all of my previous A-level group classes, I've got 23 of those recorded. Each one comes with a set of practice questions. So if you're looking, thinking, oh, I really need to practice isomers or I really need to practice organic mechanisms, then there are at least one or two different classes within that. This masterclass package, which includes those 23 topics, which includes practice questions, uh, plus checklists, plus each of those topics has an hour long detailed exam masterclass looking at exam technique looking at common errors, looking at applying it to more challenging questions. Um, and it includes the question booklets. That is only five pound a month, which if you buy it now, uh, you only need a month because 
in a month as I'm publishing this video, it'll all be over. So that's worth considering. If you want to join any of this year's group classes, I still have some space on the 29th of May, half term revision intensive. That's a full day. Um, it's six hours in total. It's really small groups. It's probably not actually going to be 12 people. It's probably be less than that. So you get lots of chance to ask questions. And if you want to focus on particular topics, we do that. In that, we're going to look at the things we've just been talking about for all three papers. We're going to look at exam technique in terms of calculations, physical chemistry, periodicity, organic chemistry, practical and synoptic chemistry as well. So it's all getting you as ready as possible. It's quite an intensive day, but it is also recorded. And then because that's an intensive day, and you might be thinking, I'm never going to get it all in one day, and I'll have questions after. I also do three other revision classes, which are two days before each exam. So two days before paper one, two days before paper two, and two days before paper three. Those exam prep classes, £35 gets you into those three classes. There's actually four hours, not three, because the first two classes are 90 minutes long. Uh, paper three class is only one hour because after, by the time we get to that class, we'll have already covered a lot in the paper one and paper two because paper three is slam dick. Um, so that's bigger groups potentially, but not particularly large. Um, and that's recorded as well. So if you don't manage to catch it, you can catch up with it afterwards. Um, so I want to just put that picture in just to get the idea of what the difference is. The £125 gets you everything, including masterclasses, including recordings, including the exam classes, live exam classes. The live exam classes gets you the masterclasses and the recording of the May half term class. Um, and then you can just opt for recordings only. If you say for £25, you can also have all those revision masterclasses, which cost a fiver anyway, and you can get recordings of the exam prep classes. They'll be up, so they go on like a two days before the exam. So say the exam is on Friday, then we tend to do them on a Wednesday evening, or if the exam is on a Monday or Tuesday, we tend to do them on a Saturday. Um, and I would put the recordings up like an hour or two after I've done the live class. So there's not a big delay. The half term intensive also includes this year's predicted papers and the full package of all of them. The other two do not include that. OK, so they would be separate. Uh, if you've got any questions, you'll notice at the bottom it says email support. This is me. I am I am CK Chemistry. So there's no one else who works here. Uh, except for my positive potato. Uh, he just sort of like handles some basic admin, but I answer all the emails. So if you have a question about chemistry, put it in the YouTube comments and it'll be me replying, not AI, I promise. No bots, nothing, just me. Um, so <laughs> any questions, and that's the same if you buy my predicted papers. If you buy them and you have a question, drop me an email and I'll answer it, even if you haven't purchased the walkthroughs and it's just something that you don't quite understand. If I'm asleep and you're sending it at 2 a.m. before the first exam, I might not reply before the exam because I am a human being. All right, good luck. Um, if you've done paper two, could you drop in the comments what came up? Because it really helps my paper three videos because I don't put my paper three predictions up until after paper two till I know what's gone on in the first two papers. See you then.